Hi there. So this wasn't a planned video, it's a little bit of a impromptu type one. I wasn't planning on it, but after seeing a video on the channel Anna's Food and Lifestyle about situational awareness, it reminded me of an experience that myself and Laura had with our children years and years ago when they were very young. And it made me think, I'm going to do a video and put it out just to remind people to try and be aware as much as possible at all times. So in Anna's video, she was walking home with her child and they were playing, or a child was playing rather, and Anna noticed in her peripheral vision that there was a, a van, it was out of the ordinary, it kind of piqued her concern, it, you know, it, it got her attention and, and made her aware that it was there and it was not normal. And an alarm bell went off in her head, so she decided to keep an eye on it. The behaviour of the van just got worse and worse, and to the point where she feared an abduction of either herself or her child or both, and she felt so unsafe that she had to literally run to get away from the situation. Um, I'll link the video in the, the video above, um, up here or up here, I, I don't know which side it goes on. But have a watch of the video after this and, and have a look, I'll link it in the description as well. And like I say, I can imagine how scared she was because I've been in a, a similar sort of situation myself. For our situation, it was years and years ago, like I say, with our two children, myself, Laura, the two kids. We were on holiday in Northern Spain. So when we're on holiday, we like to go on nice long walks, just get a bit of exercise, you know. We're usually near the coast, so you've got the sea air, the warm weather. It's just nice. So this night, we went on a walk, and we were quite out of the way. Um, like, normally we go to tourist areas, but on this particular evening, we'd gone for a long walk. It was a long road. It wasn't an unlit road. There were street lights. There was, there was a fair bit of traffic, but it, there was nothing, no shops, hotels, anything like that. It was kind of wasteland around with the odd building here and there. Nothing built up and touristy like you'd imagine a, a normal holiday destination. So anyway, we spotted a shop, one of just the tourist touch shops, you know, the, the ten a penny, wherever you go, whichever resort that you go to in Spain or any other tourist place in Europe. So we decided to go in, have a look around. It was a fairly large shop. It wasn't like a, a little corner shop. It's, it wasn't a supermarket sized shop either. You know, it was, it was maybe it's about a medium to large shop. So as we were browsing around, I just happened to glance towards where the checkout was and the two gentlemen who were there, they were, I'm going to say, of Arabic descent. This was in northern Spain, like I say. I'm going to say this was around about 2010-2011. So, like I say, it was the... The height of the time when Britain and America were in Iraq, Afghanistan, they'd, I think, by this point, started causing havoc in Libya as well. And Western people were told to be on the lookout in case they were targeted, either at home or overseas. So like I say, I'd noticed the two gentlemen in the shop kind of talking amongst themselves, but both looking over to us and paying more attention to us than than I would say is normal. I've, I've worked in shops and I've also obviously been in a, a lot of shops. I'm 42 years old now, so I've been in a lot of shops. And, and these two guys, bear in mind we were the only people in the shop, they were paying far too much attention to us than is normal. Initially, I'd like kind of dismissed it, I'd never really thought of anything, and as I say, we'll continue browsing the aisles. And then I noticed one of them had gone outside, and he was closing the shutters down on the shop windows, but normally when shops 
shut the shutters, they, they get them and they really pull the shutters down with a lot of effort and make a lot of noise. He wasn't doing that, he was doing it extremely quietly. So I, I noticed this and instantly in my head, alarm bells were ringing and I just said to Laura, while well, even right now, I'll tell you outside, but we're getting out right this second. And like Laura, confused look on her face, but I said, no, come on, we're going. Um, obviously our son was in a, a stroller, a push chair at the time. Our daughter was, I don't know, maybe was five, six, so she was walking, but I kind of grabbed her hand and, and we were away very promptly. As we're leaving, the, the guy who was still inside the shop was trying to get us to stay, offering their children sweets and offering us good prices and, and whatnot. No, I'm really sorry, we're going, we're leaving. And he, like I say, he, he desperately trying to get us to stay in the shop. Obviously, the other guy was still pulling all the shutters down on all the windows at this point. So we got out of the shop and we started heading back like up the road towards where where our hotel was and where the, the build up areas were. And we kind of were fast walking and I'd explained to Laura like why we'd left in a hurry, why I wanted to leave in a hurry. And Laura was like, right, okay. I, I'm trying to think back. Like I say, it was, it was about 10 or 12 years ago. I'm sure she kind of said I might have been a bit paranoid or whatnot. She supported us when I said I want to leave right this second. She came with us, she didn't argue or anything like that, so I'm I'm glad that she just she trusted my my instinct to go, regardless of if I was right or wrong, she said, Yep, right, you want to go, let's go, I'll back you up. As we were like I say, walking it, it, it steady pace. We're walking maybe it's not running, but we're fast walking certainly, back towards the tourist area. I looked behind and the two guys from the shop were like literally right behind us. Maybe it's about 20 or 30 paces behind us. And one of them on his phone, obviously I have no idea what he was saying. I couldn't hear there was traffic, but it, who knows what he was saying. But like I say, they were behind us. They were following us. There's no doubt about that. And then purely by good fortune, I saw a police car approaching, so I quickly, I was waving it down and the police car stopped and the two guys behind, uh, obviously I checked behind to see if they were still there and they must have realised what I was doing, they literally, they turned around and ran. So, bear in mind we were in Spain, we don't speak Spanish, fortunately we were able to tell the police who had a, a fairly good grasp of English that the two guys were trying to lock us in the shop first of all and follow us. Um, and obviously the policemen had seen the men run away. So one of the police officers, he stayed with us and walked us back into where the touristy bit was, where our hotel was. And obviously made sure that we were safe. And the other guy in the car, the police officer in the car, like I said, I told him they'd come from the shop. And obviously they were closing the, the shutters down Um quietly, discreetly, you know, and followed us all the way up the road and, and one of them was on the phone constantly. So he'd gone down to make sure that they, they weren't following us anymore. And like I say, obviously, well, here we are. So everything was fine, you know, but just watching Anna's video, really, it just brought that straight back up, um, that memory straight to the surface. And Really, guys, you need to be aware of what's going on at all times. I mean, I've got my phone here. You see people all too often, they're, ah, la, 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 and all oh, they're on the screen as they're walking along and they're tapping away and they're doing whatever, and they've got no clue, none whatsoever, about what's going on or who's around them. If they, I was going to say lucky, obviously still unlucky, they might just get their phone stolen or their, their purse stolen or, or whatever. I genuinely think that these two guys had bad intentions for either all of us or Laura or the children and Anna the other day from her video had exactly the same feeling that just something wasn't right the way they got the guys in the van were behaving they were acting with bad intentions and intended to do some sort of harm to Anna or her child or both of them it just be aware at all times Honestly, I cannot stress how important it is, and especially even more so if you have children, you're with children. It takes a split second 
and something bad can happen. I can remember reading in France years ago where a mother was with her child in the playground and obviously her child was just playing and, and as children should be able to play in playgrounds, it's what they're for. And this lady just happened to look up and she noticed a man was dragging her daughter out of the playground by the, by the hand, had, had a daughter, but was pulling the daughter out of the playground by the hand. But the end result was the mother couldn't get over to save the daughter quick enough. The daughter was bundled into a car. The guy drove off. Obviously, people got the registration because she obviously caused attention and someone had, had managed to jot the registration. But unfortunately, the girl was found dead. Literally, hours later, she'd been... And she'd been murdered. It takes seconds of inattention and your life can be affected all over. Please, 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 please be aware of what's going on around you at all times. Take care, guys. Bye.